Welcome Climate Viewers. My name is Jim Lee from Climate Viewer News at ClimateViewer.com. It is July 23rd, 2018 and um, wanted to update you guys on uh, the new crowd map, our uh, self-reporting app for all things sky related. Um, Skywatch reports, uh, thanks to Pam Jones for Liberty for supporting it um, so much. Um, the reports are pouring in and uh, I wanted to update you guys on the new version of Climate Viewer Mobile, uh, which is an add-on to Climate Viewer 3D for all those who don't have support for the 3D option. And um, we're going to go through, you know, what I've been up to and, you know, what goes into making um, something this tough. It's a, it's a labor of love. I've been putting 10, 8 to 10 hours a day into working on this new version. And I just wanted to give you guys a preview of what that looks like. So um, I just put this article out, Ship Tracks, Bunker Fuel, Dirty Clouds, and Blatant Lies, getting amazing response to it. I greatly appreciate that. And that's available over on climateviewer.com, my blog. Um, everything on climateviewer.com is open source and free of charge. I only ask that if you uh, would like to say thank you, please do so by hitting up my Patreon and giving a monthly donation or a one-time donation via PayPal. Um, I also accept uh, donations via my address. You can find that on the About page, which is right up here in the top corner, a little contact card. Um, and I've had a couple people do that. I greatly appreciate that. I just had somebody send me a juicer. Thank you so much for that. Amazing. Um, I really appreciate it. My family appreciates it. We're already using it. Um, so what is this crowd map? It's over at climateviewer.crowdmap.com. Now, I originally invented this little jewel back in 2011, um, but it hadn't gotten much use over the last couple of years. I barely mentioned it. And I've reopened it for the purpose of making Skywatch reports, as you can see here, or freaky weather, electromagnetic, or just news. So you can choose your category, um, and it'll show you the reports coming in from around the world. And these are freaky weather reports, things like that. So um, what you do is you basically come over here and you hit submit a report. And when you do that, it gives you a couple options. You can put in report um, freaky clouds. Give it a description, my description. Um, give it a category, check skywatch reports. Oh, it's freaky weather also. Um, location name. So I want to type in here, I'm going to type my hometown, Sumter, South Carolina, and I'm going to hit find location. And um, what it'll do is it'll actually find the location and fill out this box for you. Um, for a news source, I'm just going to give an example. I'm going to grab this one real quick and uh, we'll go news source link right here. I'm clicking in the wrong window. And if I wanted to add another news source link, I can hit the plus next to it, which will give me a additional box so you can put as many of these in here as you like you can link to videos so I can um, grab my video link here and I can come over here and put that in there and choose file to upload let's say I wanted to upload the actual photo from the site so I'll come over here to where I did that and go to 2017 and here 2018 and where's my photo it is right here so I'm gonna upload that and description let's put that in there and make this an actual report so ship tracks dirty bunk of fuel as a human blah 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 and all right now I've filled everything out so I put in a title description link to the article link to the video uploaded a photo, put in my location, and I'm going to hit submit. And it's that simple. So you just come over here, fill out the boxes, check the categories, give it your description, um, that sort of thing. 
and once you submit your report it's going to um, show up in the list of reports sometimes it takes longer than other obviously i'm broadcasting live and i'm on a virtual private network so it's going to take a little longer than normal um and then it'll say hey thank you for uh, re submitting your report so now if i go over to reports you can actually see the report we'll click on that now and there it is there's my report I just made and we'll click on that and see what it looks like and as you can see there's my photo there's the title ship tracks bunker fuel dirty clouds and blatant lies um, here's the photo I uploaded which is a large photo there you go if I you can upload multiple photos so you can if you do then there's a little slider for you to check through um, and the video is embedded automatically so you can actually see my video aviation should be up 110 percent pretty cool and there's my description and there's a link to the article which if I click it you can see it takes you to the article that's a report this is an automatic reporting app. I want everybody to use it because it's free of charge. Um, I will not be selling this app. It is a public service and I hope that you will use it. Um, it's very easy to use. Give it a try. I wanted to show one from uh, Pam Jones earlier. This is a pretty amazing one. Uh, you know, don't panic. Bloody lenticular cloud engulfs the sky over Gallup, New Mexico. Look at these photos. Wow. That's some freaky clouds. Let's flip through these. Pretty crazy stuff. So, this is a great way for you to take part in, uh, you know, documenting your skies. It's easy. It's free of charge. I hope that you'll share it. ClimateViewer.CrowdMap.com um, And the great thing about it is, you know, she's got a, a link here to the original article, I guess. Uh, let's click that. And you can see this is where the photos came from. Um, pretty, pretty easy to use. Don't pop up in my fist, man. Um, and the great thing about it is all of these reports will appear on climateviewer.org. So now I'm over here on the new mobile map, which you can see is at the front page of climateviewer.org. You can switch to the old 3D globe just by clicking right here where it says switch to 3D globe. If you go to live alerts, climate viewer reports, you can see all of the reports from 2011 to 2017 many reports from around the world there um let me close this and you can see those from all over the world and then you can see the ones from just january to july 2018 and as you can see it's really starting to pick up already um lots of people in um, europe reporting i really appreciate it if you see uh, if you click on any one of these it'll say funnel cloud over blah 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 and then there'll be a more link if you click that more link it will take you to the report so that way it's actually documented in two places um, you can see all of the climate viewer reports on climateviewer.org I will continually update this and move the reports over here so that we can see those great stuff um, I really appreciate everybody taking um, part in this it's uh, fascinating for me. I'm getting to see all kinds of crazy stuff. Uh, and I really appreciate everybody's support on uh, Climate Viewer Reports and ClimateViewer.org. Now, what I want to show you now is my new project. Yes, I just updated this thing to where we have a mobile map, but it's still the old style map, you know, where everything's in one big list over here on the sidebar. There are 751 maps total, including NASA satellites, like you can see the NASA satellite for today, and overlay that like this. You can make it transparent. All kinds of cool stuff. We've got earthquakes, volcanoes, you name it. Um, 
but I wanted to do you one better. Uh, you know, things like ionosphere heaters from around the globe. You can see harp. You can see, you know, all of the different ionosphere heaters. I've spent four years creating maps, putting them in here, and I want to get back to creating new maps, but. I have one last thing that I want to accomplish before doing that, and that is right now, um, climateviewer.org, because all of these maps um, are in one list, and it's all 751 of them are, are in one file, and this list is generated when you load the website. So, you know, websites like Google, Yahoo, Bing, they can't see all of the content that are in the website so all they can see is the front page the map itself and i want all of this stuff to be searched and indexed you know for seo reasons so that people can see all of the amazing stuff that we have in here like if you just check the science and history section you'll see we have abandoned and sunken ships ancient ruins architecture conquers and world wars crime sprees disease outbreaks you just you name it um just amazing information you're not going to find anywhere else government and surveillance five eyes stone ghost network spy facilities from around the world like the utah data center where hillary clinton clinton's emails are this is what fisa abuse is about is about getting access to the stone ghost network things like that you're not going to find it anywhere else on the internet it's only available on climateviewer.org so in order to get that out to the search engines, I've been working on a new version, which you can see here. And this new version um, is a masterpiece. Uh, I've been working on it for the last uh, two months, you know, averaging eight to 10 hours a day on this thing. And it has a full on site map where you can come through and you can go to alerts and weather and you can see all of the maps you know in text format as well so if you were to go to the air quality section today it'll bring you to a page that well um, this one needs a proxy and I can't show you that right now but um, you, it'll take you to a page where you know it has just a single map with that map layer loaded and information about it who made it what type it is and a way to download it so every single one of the 700 maps will have its own individual page submit a report right up here will take you to you know it the climate viewer reports um submit form um you know the 3d globe is in there so there's the 3D version. The 2D map is in there. Here it is. But the coolest thing about it is this new view map list. And what I did was I created image previews of every single map. You have no idea how long this is taking me to go through 751 maps and create this. But what it does is it lets you see all the maps and then sort them. So if I click on alerts and weather, it takes you to some subcategories. You can see the climate viewer reports. You can see the earthquakes, fires and volcanoes, hurricanes and tropical storms, lightning, all of that sort of thing. Um, it's pretty amazing. Pollution and privacy. You can go to my atmospheric sensor section and see harp, ionospheric heaters, missile defense radars with image previews of each and every single one of these um so this is you know um, in my personal opinion it's a masterpiece i'm having a ball making it but yes it's stressful it's taking forever and going through 751 maps is going to take forever but you know this stuff is priceless and i want it to be seen by a lot of people so i'm going the extra mile on this each map has a load map feature um let's say like here the bayou corn sinkhole i can click load map that'll bring it up on the map below you can see it zooms you directly to it or i can click on description and that'll take you to a page with the description file for it and information about it um pretty fascinating stuff um you know and of course like i said there's a site map there's an about page 
as you go through the site map each one has all of the maps listed out in length so you can click on the russian woodpecker and it take you there and you can see you know videos other information about the map um things like that this is going to be freaking amazing when it's done um but i wanted to give you guys a little preview of what it takes just to make one map so you guys can appreciate all of the work that's going into this right now so what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you me create one map and then i'm going to end this video so this is what it looks like okay so i'm over here in sublime text and this is what currently my map list looks like as you can see it's um, what's called a JSON file. It has all of the maps listed in one single file and it's pretty lengthy. So this is the Wyoming Weather Modification Pilot Program. This is the map file itself, the description. If you were to go and look at it over here on Climate Viewer 3D, this is what it would look like. So you go down here to atmospheric sensors or no we go to geoengineering and we go to wyoming weather modification pilot program and you click information and you can see there's the information from it um this is what's going to appear on the single page and you know you can click on the actual map and it'll fly you to it and you can see the cloud seeding generators of course all of that information is available on these dots so these are where the cloud seeding generators are um, in order for me to create this for the new version uh, this is what it's going to look like um, pretty pretty amazing stuff but very lengthy process so i'm going to do one real quick just so you guys can see it um, what I got to do is I'm converting all these Google Earth files to GeoJSON, so that's the first step. I come over here, I grab the file, I have to unzip it, so I unzip it like that. It pops up right here, grab the file name, double click that, go over here, rename the file name, put in Climate Viewer 3D on the end of that. And then I'm going to move that. I'm going to come over to my source section, paste it here. I'm going to open that in Sublime Text. Make sure that none of the icons go to Google because Google is censoring all of that stuff. I have to use a proxy to actually load it. So this is my Google Earth file. I come over here and I go to a program that's called 2G GeoJSON, which I'll bring over here. I uh, copy paste that in there and that converts it to a GeoJSON file. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to save this and I'm going to bring it over here. I'm going to rename the extension GeoJSON. I'm going to paste in the new information so it's in the new format. And then I'm going to go back to this. So then I actually have to create a post for it. So what I do now is I type in the title Wyoming Weather Modification Pilot Program ah. XMP and save that I go up here and I give this is the URL for the website for the web page that's going to be created I do that I come over here and grab the title Wyoming weather modification pilot program generators put that in there give it a uh, unique uh, ID WM WWMPP it's a GeoJSON file. I want to grab that GeoJSON file I just created. So I come down here to 2018. Rename, copy, paste, enter. Come up here. Put that in here. And then I'm going to go back over here. And I'm going to grab all the source information that I made. And put that over here. Down at the bottom of the page. And then I'm going to grab 
this information right here. So this is actually my zoom information to show where it's going to appear on the map. Almost done. And this is just for one map. Now remember I have 751 maps to do. I think I've done probably a hundred by now. Um, very lengthy process. But it's a labor of love and I do it all for you people because I love you mean it. Um, and I think we've got everything in there now. So once I do that, I hit save. And then I come over here to my map and let's check. I go to pollution, privacy, geoengineering, and there it is. And as you can see, it does not have a preview image, but let's test it out. Close. And there we go. We've just created a GeoJSON version of that same map. Now I'm going to switch this to the... Eh, it looked better in black. I like put them, putting them in black because it shows up better in the, the preview. So let's leave that black. Now I have to take a screenshot. So I go capture selected area. Drag a box around it. Capture. Done. Save, save, open, go over here to Photoshop, copy that, put it in here, resize it, put it in there, and we're just about done. Check, go back to my Sublime text. This is the file name, make sure that I get that right. Come back down here, save for web, bam, save, and everything should be in place now. So I come back over here and check. I go to pollution and privacy, geoengineering, and there we go. We have a preview, we have a load map, and we have a description page. I come over here, um, I set the base to go to the aerial view, that way people can actually zoom in. And it says title up here, more information, all of the different links. Gotta love that, right? And it has its own individual unique URL. As you can see here, it's going to be climateviewer.org slash pollution and privacy slash geoengineering and weather modification slash Wyoming weather modification pilot program and beautiful. Now I have to do this for each and every single one of the maps to pull this off, but tell you what, this is going to be freaking amazing when it's done. Um, and I'm going to continue to work on this uh, little by little. That's what I've been uh, spending most of my days doing. That's why I went ahead and I just made the video tonight about that because that's what I've been doing, um, you know, for today. And I hope that you guys will continue to support my work. This is going to be a lengthy process, but you know, I'm doing it all for you guys um, because we got to get the word out there somehow. And the best way I know how is, you know, a picture is worth a thousand words and a map is worth probably 10 to 20,000 at the very least. Well, as, I, as you can hear in the background, my daughter's just got home, and um, I'm going to get back to the family time and do a little coding tonight and work some more on this map. So I greatly appreciate your support. If you guys could hit me up on uh, Patreon or PayPal, I would greatly appreciate that. Also, I've been uh, using this uh, Soul product. Um, I've recently switched to the Core product. Um, next month I hope to have enough money to afford to buy both, but this is really helping out. It's cold press seeds, um, seeds have stem cells, they're helping shrink my thyroid. My thyroid has shrunken, uh, by over an inch in the last month. I am feeling much stronger, much healthier. In addition to that, I'm doing the CBD oils. Thank you to the lady out in Colorado who's been supplying these. Um, you're the best, uh, and a couple other things, dietary changes working out. I'm going to hang my Muay Thai bag hopefully this week. I've got to stuff it. I bought it unstuffed, so, you know, my wife and I are going to cut up clothes and fill it. 
Um, hopefully this week we can get that handled. But, you know, things are going really well. Please come over to Climate Viewer Reports and submit your reports. It, it's very easy to do. Um, check out climateviewer.org. It already has a good working mobile map that you guys can use if you don't have 3D support. And look forward to the new map coming soon. Um, it's pretty amazing. You can go to the to the thing. This was one of the biggest requests. Hey, I'd like to be able to search through the maps. So if you've got it on show all and you type in harp, it'll search and it'll find harp. If you type in radar, it'll show you only maps with radars. Um, so pretty fascinating. Earthquakes, you get the picture. Um, I freaking love this new version. I cannot wait to get it done. And once it's done, I'm going to be making a lot of videos about maps, creating new maps, and I look forward to that. So, um, you know, not going to not going to stop doing this anytime soon. That's why I ask for your continued support, and I really appreciate you guys watching this video. So, um, come over to climateviewer.com, climateviewer.org, and uh, also check out weathermodificationhistory.com the world's most thorough website on the history of weather control. Um, once again, I'm Jim Lee from climateviewer.com, climateviewer.org, and weathermodificationhistory.com. Um, constantly working on improving the products we have. They're all free of charge, and with your support, we will reach the masses. We will break through. And um, I hope that you guys remember that with this great information comes great power. And I ask that you, when you use this information, that you remember to attack ideas, not people. If this video resonates with you, leave me a comment because I love hearing from you all. First time here? Be sure to subscribe and click the bell. The bell doesn't always work, so come to climateviewer.com and sign up for our newsletter. Remember... It would be impossible for me to do this without your support, so please join my Patreon or buy me a coffee on PayPal. And always, attack ideas, not people.